Well, 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 you're welcome back to GMRS, man. We're here with the Gimli Battles. Today, we're looking at another... <laughs> we're looking at a... Uh... A design that follows that follows the uh, trend commandments rules, which is of course don't have any superstructures. So, this is Jormungandr's, yeah, the Jormungandr class battleship. So uh, yeah, let's let's check out what we got here. We got a cram design in Dean. <laughs> And it seems to be very similar to the Ten Commandments. You know why? It's the same creator! Sean Reed has submitted another ship uh, that he'd like to put in here. And it is, well, this thing. It's very flat, has no superstructure you can shoot at at all. Uh, it's very flat. Flat like... anyways. So let's check out this thing here. It's basically extremely similar, similar to the Ten Commandments. We've got some space armor here. All right. Well, I guess there ain't much. There, there ain't much more to check out here. Anyways, Jormungandr. That's of course the world snake, but this doesn't look very snaky, does it? It needs eyes. Add eyes. I'm not actually adding eyes. I'm just adding the idea to add eyes. Look at that. And then you do like this. And then you do like this. And now we do like this. Fantastic. I got you eyes. Anyways, I won't save. <laughs> I don't shave. I don't change folks' design. So let's jump in and see how it battles. All right. We are in the battle, and you can see this thing here. Oh my god. <laughs> it's 1750 material, so it's quite a, a bit below, but we're really encroaching on the max block limit with 95,000. So, uh, the time of the day is a little bit dark here. Let's see what happens. Alright, Sean Reed's barrage is popping in here. Oh, we're so not able to take him out with our diff rods. <laughs> Damn. And they are detonating like nearby and stuff. We're getting some shots here. We're skimming. We're skipping that. Man, okay. We're just get overwhelmed here a little bit. Oh, lords. The diff rods. Oh, they're not able to take him out, man. Uh, somehow, the Gimli is in the lead health-wise. I wonder if we got a good hit here or something. That's uh, so much space, man. We really need to take out those turrets to be able to have a chance. I wonder if some of this frag damage get wasted, but... Hollow point would have been the obvious answer here. Man, this thing is so large. Look at the size of this in the Gimla. It's like the Gimla is tiny compared to this thing. Well, it might not be the most snaky snake, but it's a large snake. <laughs> Alright, I actually suspect that my cram mortars will do some heavy lifting here because I think they have some hollow point. Man, this ain't looking good. Man, look at that turret. Look at that. It's like has a tiny caliber. What happened here? Oh, sh shoot. Did we get the... Oh, no, look at that. It got severed right there. So it lost a lot of its firepower. Not completely wasted, but... Yeah, definitely damaged. I think that our laser is gonna do some heavy lifting, that's for sure. If it just aims at the turrets, it would be very good for me. 
Man, this thing is basically plasma proof. <laughs> you can like do three doom shots to the side of this thing and it won't buckle that much. Oh, Gimli went behind in terms of health. What happened here? <clears throat> Scary things. Our sniper cannons, funny enough, would probably just shoot through the target. They're probably gonna be the most useless system here. I expect the I expect the Vigoletta to be extremely uh, efficient here, because each shot it pops in here will destroy some blocks. And if we have shields near anything important, they're gonna get really grilled. I can't, I can't expect the Gimlet to win this one, actually. But we shall see, because it's such redundant with these many crammed turrets. And the Gimlet is behind in health. <laughs> well, damn. Yeah, well, time will tell. This thing is gonna be floaty as hell, that's for sure. It's It ain't gonna... Man, if we had some cool bread to set up, if we knew that stuff, we could probably bisect this thing pretty easily. Like, some folks are trying to be uh, messing with uh, Gimli bisections to win. Um, and that's, I guess, a strategy that may work, but... Damn! That's a bad hit, man. Well, in any case, that is a strategy that might work, but the Gimli is somewhat meaty. This, uh, this battleship, Jormungandr... I think it's it's there is a Jormungandr, but I but I think it's Jormungandr. Anyways, Gander is snake, I believe. Not totally sure, but should be. Anyways, the laser is lasing on. This feels like very similar to the Ten Commandments. Bam! You can see those frags. They're like opening deep gashes into anything. Huh. This thing seems a little bit disabled. What happened here? Did it get EMP'd or was it just a lucky frag? You know, like one layer of metal around your turrets can probably be worth it, I think. Just not getting critted by stray crams like that. But who knows? Maybe it's not worth the cost. <laughs> Gimli is at uh, 83, damn, that was a bad hit. And Jörmungandr is at uh, 85, so it's a very close battle here. But uh, Gimli has much worse redundancy. And those cram cannons, they're looking pretty sad, man. And we don't... Aren't my mortars gonna fire anytime soon? What's going on, mate? Why? Because I think they could be doing some heavy lifting here. Welp. That's a good spread of those cramps though. There must be a lot of different aim points. Damn. Gimli is down to 79 now. Alright, I think we may not win this one actually. You can see the Vigoletta is doing a good is a, doing a great job here. If we shoot off that detection tower, I wonder if it's gonna be like better times what the hell is this is this the most silly diff gun I ever seen <laughs> I think I think this is the most silly diff gun I ever seen man Gimli is down to 77 now this ain't looking good for her <clears throat> Close but no cigar, it's just so redundant. Oh no, it bounced. Welp. That's... I don't like the looks of that. The weather is so dark. Look at this poor old thing. Man. 77 versus 81. Most of the crams are out now. 
That's bad. I somehow still think... I somehow, weirdly enough, think that the Gimla has some kind of chance. Maybe it's just wishful thinking. But I'm seriously wondering what's happening with my mortars. Their weapons computer must have been unluckily shot off. <clears throat> Look at that thing. This is just not going down. I think you'll need to bring in some like thumper missiles and like uh, top down artillery to deal with this. <clears throat> yeah, that's some dangerous stuff here. Mm -mm -mm. Very thin undersides. Do we have a keel or what? Why do we have... Oh, we have ammo boxes in that keel. I see. Ammo keels. We are losing this first battle. It is indeed so. There are just too many points to shoot that and... Uh, Jörmungand really takes home the points for redundancy here. They're just so spread out, we can't possibly shoot at all of these places. I feel that like the Marksman 5 is like the only thing that's actually consistently dealing damage at this point. I wonder if it has like ring shields and stuff. Lots of redundant engines, that's for sure. Probably does not have ring shields. Whoa. 62 versus 81. Oh man. Well, well, well. That's gonna be really interesting. See if uh, this design counters the Gimle by being more redundant, larger and a lot more crammy. Maybe it will be that. It will be so. <laughs> I wonder if it has issues if you shoot off this detection. Probably it has more redundant detection than that. Whoa. This one is firing blanks. Some of the guns are actually firing blanks. But not not enough of them. We're down to eight like fifty-eight percentage. The Gimlet loses the first battle indeed. I'll update you if this change of course, but you can see where this battle is going indeed. Not a chance. My hypes are not high for the Gimla here. Oh lord, so okay. Let's just get it over with. <laughs> the Ten Commandments uh, did made it point, did ha has made its points, but this is of course another... Oh, we missed those. This is of course another vessel, so yeah. Uh, oh lord. The Gimle is down with four percentages and it hasn't been like long at all. Can we like grill the right places this time? That would be fantastic. Oh lord, another barrage is coming in. Listen to this. Cheers. In any case, um, we're watching this show here. And we're popping in more shells. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. That was a good hit. I think we went... I think we got one of the cramps there. Nuked. You're so nuked. Whew, okay. We get... The, the more cramps we pop off, the better chances we have. Our chances ain't very high. But, uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Grill that thing. Just a little more. No, why did you have to put heavy armor there? <laughs> or you skipped it all? Yes, yes, yes. That's so lucky. That's so lucky. It feels like my decoy cramps are probably doing as much damage 
to the Jormungander. And I'm looking at the Jormungander here a little bit because I don't want to look the carnage the Gimli is suffering right now. You're only shooting blanks. How does it feel? Like my turret last time. So, yeah, oh, there you can see. Doing a pretty good hole. <laughs> If we have some mortars like that, we might have a chance, like, just, like, punching out the uh, wooden board, like, the cardboard around the AI or whatever, make it fall out of the structure. That feels like a strategy to win this. Except we're, like, 86. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at, uh, I'm just gonna look at Jormungander and hope that, um, I hope that the situation <laughs> changes. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> Why are you shooting at... You have decoys here, don't you? You probably have decoys here. Probably. Probably. Right. So, any case, uh, the Gimli is at 85% and this thing is at 92%. Uh, I think there is a decoy over here because we're wasting our materials shooting at this area. Or is there not? Like, what the hell? Right, we switched points, which is good. Maybe we can shoot at something important. Which is like very unlikely, considering that there ain't very much important things to shoot at, at all, in general. 83 percentages, man, we're so, we're so screwed. Um, like, look at it, we, we're, we're like hitting perfect hits and they're just not dealing much damage. Well, at least it ain't got any lambs, so... I wonder if we're still taking out some of those shells there. 82 percentages. Well, the Jörmungandr is only 10 percentage, 8 percentages ahead, so... We're gonna see. <clears throat> it feels like my pack is probably dealing some reliable damage too, I would bet. Oh. This thing is so... Like, how long is it? It's like a kilometer. <laughs> Come on, man. Kilometer? Okay. Right. Look at that. Are we... Are our snipers shooting out these engines here? We're in a pretty good angle to shoot out these en engines. Not that it needs them to float or anything, but... Oh, nice hit. This is the... This is the AI. We have so many AIs on this thing. It's like not even EMP protected. Well, it's wood, so... I guess it doesn't need to. That's... That's some... That's some proper balls right there. <laughs> not even EMP protecting the AI. <laughs> because you're so confident in this design. Now I really wanna win. <laughs> But it would be interesting to see, because I would want to see the Jörmungandr being pitched against some secret advisor designs, because those are like hellscapes of uh, defrauds. Bam! <laughs> oh no! I think our captain is MIA. Welp. Tough luck. Um, the mortars. I b like, they have to hit, right? The mortars gotta hit. They just have to hit. I think we have better chances this... This battle than we did the last one. It's kind of peaceful flying up with the crams here. And now we're kind of... We're approaching terminal velocity. I think we're actually, we're, we're just slowing down time. So we can have time to see what happens. Okay. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Slow down. Now let's see here. What are we doing? I want to see the damage pattern. This Oh, they're different. Some are hollow point and some are penetrating. Okay. 
So, yeah, not more interesting than that. Bam! That was so close of taking out that cannon. If we're just able to take out a few more cram cannons, I think we have pretty good chances of taking this home, but otherwise, it's gonna end last time. It feels like there doesn't come in as many shells from the Jörmungandr right now. Or maybe it's just wishful thinking, who knows. This one did an interesting hole here. How did you not detonate, man? Oh well. Or just bouncing off here. 68 percentage yes okay we're definitely not winning this it just keeps them cram comings it just keeps cramming them crams well it missed at least but we ain't got much to shoot back with at this point and where is the laser when you want them okay we're so screwed we're so screwed that was like basically an ai hit i'm kind of surprised it was a good while ago our uh, gimless AI got insta-critted by anything, because <laughs> it doesn't have like the best placement. Bam! Ooh! No! <laughs> the Jörmungandr is taking home this victory too, no question about it. Well, in any case, the captain might be a little bit MIA, but I'm sure it's gonna be back next time. <clears throat> the battle is saying it isn't over yet, but about that, huge thanks to our commissioned officers in the army of Jimadism for supporting the channel every month over at Patreon. Admiral Super Dave, Admiral Scoobrox, Captain Y, Lieutenant Sesteria, C2 Cravey, Parbagri, Tyler and Vincent Veritas. And if anyone added since last time, well, and uh, then I'm sorry for forgetting you because I may have recorded this before you joined or uh, I just didn't update the list. But uh, you will be in future episodes. Uh, and also, huge thanks to all the cadets. The Gimle is going down to uh, 56 percentages and we have entered the spawn territory. So, uh, sad, sad. <laughs> Congratulations to the Jörmungandr class by Sean Reed, it is indeed a formidable design which very much proves a point. That said, I'll see you all next time. This is your host, Gmodism, and we are signing out from yet another Gimli battle. <laughs>